Hi folks, my name is David Glant. A few of you may know me as author of Heat of the Moment, the official Asia biography. I was also privileged to be the band's webmaster for a number of years. And back in the late 1990s into the early 2000s, I was editor of an online unofficial newsletter for the band called The Armada. It chronicled different incarnations of the band over the years and also followed the individual members in their solo careers. Why are we here today? Well, we're here to celebrate the release of this wonderful package from the band and BMG Music, Asia, live at the Budokan, Tokyo, 1983, also affectionately known to fans around the world as the Asia in Asia concerts. A bit of a contentious period for the band, given the fact that on very short notice, Greg Lake of Emerson, Lake and Palmer was brought in to re replace John Wetton on bass and vocals. Over the years though, I honestly believe that the Asian Asia period has been embraced by the fans, primarily because of how well Greg Lake acquitted himself on such short notice. The music stands on its own feet and it's a testament to the professionalism on the four members working under pressure and it's amazing that 40 years has gone by. Well, 39 years, but close enough. So sit back, relax. We're going to take you through the unboxing of the box set, show you how each of the bits and pieces included within have been lovingly put together, and all in all, a wonderful testament to a period of the band that uh, should be celebrated. So thanks for joining us, and I hope you're comfortable and looking forward to enjoying some Asia. It's great to see you. We're back. Time to go through the unboxing procedure. As you can see, once more, Asia, live at the Budokan, Tokyo, 1983. Visually, one of the th two of the things that jumped out at me right away, not only was the absolutely stunning, uh, to be expected, Roger Dean artwork, has a very nice retro feel to it, but the other thing that caught my eye was, given the fact that Carl Palmer was part of Emerson, Lake and Palmer, the way that the last names of the band members are listed kind of appeals to me. Downs, Howe, Lake and Palmer. Okay. I thought that was kind of a cool little touch. It's alphabetical order, but still visually it looks nice. BMG Music has made a wonderful little box here. Very sturdy. Flip it over. To the back side. Okay. Beautiful blue background. Green logo really pops. Give you a little bit of a close up on everything here. Four band members down below. Okay. And there was a little advertising sheet glued to the back. We'll see that in a moment. I now have it, <coughs> excuse me, inside of my box. So we'll flip it over and we will jump right into it. And you're going to see the wonderful contents of this fantastic set that BMG has put together. Okay. Again, nice little thick cardboard shell here, which is fantastic. This was a little sticker that was on the original cover original plastic cover for the box. I decided to hold on to it. This, as mentioned, was the advertising sleeve in the back of the box. Okay, it was easily removed. And it's just too beautiful not to hold on to, so I'm gonna hold on to this. And then we get into the inside. You're an instantly greeted with two small boxes here. This one here, Okay, bring it up a little closer. Contains the little Roger Dean band logo pin. Okay, little clasp on the back. Okay. The next box, which we'll get into momentarily, contains all of the printed material. Let's see if I can do this without making too much of a mess. I believe that's everything. Okay, let's flip this around. 
comes with a reproduction of the backstage pass for Asia and Asia called Asia from Asia on the pass. Two tickets for a couple of different shows. The nice thing about these is that it's printed on a nice little light uh, or thicker paper stock, which almost feels like this is real ticket material. Very well done. This was a lovely little touch. This was the advertising flyer for the beta cassette version of Asian Asia when this would have come out. Okay, very interesting. $29.95, bargain at any price. Three wonderful little photos, photo cards, the entire band there. Another promo photo. And perhaps the best known promo photo from this lineup of the band in 1983. Two posters, Roger Dean artwork. The cover of the box set, which is lovely. And of course, this was all part of the Alpha Tour in 1983. And another little Roger Dean poster. Okay. So I'll return this back to the box from which it came. Then we'll get on to the other media that's contained inside. Again, it's all very high quality stuff here, folks. I couldn't have been happier. My wife watched me open this for the first time and she said it looked like it was Christmas morning for me. Okay, there's a neat little ribbon over here that allows you to lift up the material below. This is the 2LP vinyl set of the MP and MTV satellite broadcast. Okay, again, let you have a look at that. And it is beautiful colored vinyl. Okay. And the reverse. And this one here is yellow vinyl. I apologize, I think I'm showing you this out of order. I believe this is size three and four. Okay, here's side one. Side two. And while the other was a yellow vinyl, this was a lovely white vinyl. I'll take the whole thing out just for a moment and give you a visual of that. Okay. So again, nice heavy vinyl, very, very well done. By the way, the sound is as good as it's ever been for the Asian Asia uh, concert. A lot of great care has been put into this package. Okay. Next up, we'll lift our little ribbon. For me, this is the prize of the package. This is the 40 page book chronicling the tour that uh, the band did with Greg Lake. I'll just briefly leaf through it here. Okay. Liner notes over here. And the wonderful thing about this package, folks, is that it contains a lot of never before seen photos taken by a friend of the band. Here are some snaps from the Road to Budokan documentary. Okay, again, some more rehearsal photos here. Quotes from the band members. Okay, a few more rehearsal photos. And <clears throat> shameless self-promotion, sleeve notes by yours truly, which was a pleasure to write and the band, their management, and BMG was absolutely wonderful through the whole process of putting this together. You can just see how beautiful this is. Exceptionally well done. Again, more rare photos. Here's another little treasure trove of information. Some of this I have never seen before. Uh, other backstage passes, laminates from the tour in Japan, merchandise. Over here, the most famous promo photo of the band, tickets. This was actually, I believe, from my collection over here, it is a blank um, entry form for the MTV contest 
to travel to see the Asian Asia shows in Japan. Roger Dean artwork on display once more. More photos from the band in some downtime during their time in Japan. Okay, behind the scenes. Okay. This was, I believe, the actual cover of the Japanese tour program at the time. Some advertising flyers. I believe this might actually be from my collection as well. Here's a little bit of history. These were copies of the paperwork involved with the master tapes for the Asia and Asia recordings. This is kind of neat. The cover of the laser disc for the original Asia and Asia release, what I believe is the actual laser disc itself, the back cover, the advertising flyer once more for the beta release, and the actual videotape and its case. All really cool for the Asia fans out there. A couple of little quotes here from Roger Dean about his involvement in the production of this box set. More photos of the band. Okay. Looking a little serious by times, but all good stuff. Credits for the package down there. And there you go. Okay, one more time. 40 page book. For me, one more time, this is the absolute jewel in the crown. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, on to the sights and sounds. Here is the Blu ray of the Asian Asia broadcast. Okay. And these things always are a little difficult to get out. We'll see how I get along. Oh, there we go. Okay, you can see what's going on there. Okay. Now, <clears throat> for those of you, I'm not sure what the expectations are for the fans out there. The broadcast was not high definition, as you can imagine, from 1983. The recording, the actual video recording of the concert was on videotape, which for those of you not aware of such things, this is not high definition. However, I can attest to the fact that I've seen many different versions of the Asia and Asia broadcast over the years. This is as good as it will ever get. Some of the distant shots of the stage, the iconic A-frame stage, are a little bit fuzzy. There's no getting around that. However, there's many of the close-ups on stage that are nice, clean, and crisp. The sound is wonderful. So for the fan out there, there might be a few little things to quibble about, but it's as good as it's ever going to get. Trust me, this was lovingly restored. And now the audio CDs. This was the actual Asia in Asia broadcast, the MTV and Westwood One broadcast. Okay. And this was, <clears throat> previously unreleased, this was the evening before that was recorded as a backup, just in case anything went wrong during the broadcast itself. Okay. One more time, here's the disc. Now, these two, besides being beautifully mixed, have an extra special little something for the fans out there. You may be able to see it down here. After Soul Survivor, which was the finishing song on the broadcast, you get the band performing Cutting It Fine in Daylight, which to my knowledge has never been released before. And as you would expect for both concerts, the sound is magnificent. Greg Lake did a tremendous job and after all these years, being able to hear some quote-unquote new material from 1983 Asia and Asia tour is spectacular for the fans. It's very nice to hear those two songs, Cutting It Fine and Daylight. Okay, so I'm just going to undo the unboxing. 40-page booklet. 2LP set. The box containing the printed material the box containing the little Asia logo pin, the advertising uh, sheet that would have been on the back of the box. One more time, the little plastic 
uh, sticker that would have been on the front of the packaging and the actual box itself and one more time speaking as an Asia fan BMG Music has done a remarkable job here again one more time this is a wonderful well packaged uh, release highly highly recommended and if you so choose to pick it up hope you enjoyed as much as I did thanks for coming to my unboxing